Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to upload your Word in a Terno server in 2023. Of course, we are going to dive into the world of Aternos and how you can upload your own Word to create personalized gaming experience. So if you're eager to set up your Word on an Aternos server, stick around and let's explore the step-by-step -step process of uploading your Word to an Aternos server. So make sure to stick by and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, of course, we'll have to understand what Aternus servers are. Aternus, of course, is a platform that allows you to create and manage game servers for various games. It offers a free and user-friendly service for hosting game worlds. So now we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here, my case is going to be Brave Browser, and of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, we'll have to go and access the Aternos, of course, websites and go and log in into your Aternos account if you have one. And if you don't have one, you'll have to go and create one. So go here to the URL section, simply type Aternos. And you can go, of course, to this first link, which is Aternos.org, Minecraft servers, free forever. Click on that, and this should take you here into their home screen or main screen. Here, of course, if you keep scrolling down, if you don't nothing like about Eternals, you can keep scrolling down and read some informations about this website to just familiarize yourself or just get have a general idea on how it's working and etc. As you can see, you'll find all uh, the ideas that you want in here. Of course, you will have now once you you can really log in into your account or sign up into a new account if you have one. And what you'll need to do is simply go and create a new server. Of course, you can always go down here and click on Launch Server Now as example, or you'll be able to do it in other ways. So I'll just go and click on that. As you can see, they will tell me to log in to my account if I want to launch my server. So I'll have to go and log in with my username and password. And if I don't have an account, I'll have to go and click on Sign Up and go and create an account. So I'll have to choose a username. As an example, let's say uh, the username will be... Uh, I don't know, let's name ourselves Omix. And the username is already exists, so 01. Okay, it's not. And make sure to agree to the terms of service. And you can agree to that. I agree to my personal data is stored and proceeds according to the privacy policy. You can go and read those out before even like click on continue, as you can see. So it's pretty easy to read all of that. As you can see, it will take from you 15 minutes to 10 minutes or something like that. Once you agree to it, click on next. Here, you will have to go and log in or, uh, sorry, create a password or even enter your email. You can even do it with Google if you want to. So here, I'll just go and choose Google. I'll choose my account as an example. And here we are. I am on my account right now. So as we said, we will have to go and create a server by simply clicking on create a server. Or if you have one, you'll be able to click on add a server to create a new server. Once you do so, you'll be able, of course, to customize your server settings. You can choose the game version and set the server type to match your board. And so here as an example, if you click on create, as an example, this will create the server. And as I said here, you'll be able to go and customize these settings and everything about your server however you want. You'll find here the address, the software, the version. You can change, of course, the software and the version however you want and other settings also. And other than that, of course, if you click on connect, you'll find like the AP in the ports right here. And you can always go at the top right corner here and click on it and change the domain if you want to. And basically here you'll be able to do a lot of stuff. So go and change all that settings out depending on however you want. Now, of course, you will have to go and upload your work. So you'll have to access the server dashboard or just go. Uh, you can go to servers or you can simply go to the slash panel again and click on words. Here you'll be able to simply go and click on upload right here to upload your word on your server. 
of course just go and upload your word files here and make sure that your word files are correctly formatted and compressed if necessary as example if you click on upload they will tell us if we want to upload a folder or a zip archive so upload whatever you want as example if you want to upload a zip archive just choose from your pc and it will be uploaded the same will be with folder so choose the correct version that you have of your word and the, the server will start uploading. As an example here, I'll just go to upload a folder and let's see if I go here to download. Okay, no, this is like seven, uh, 70 gigabytes. I'll need just something smaller. Okay, I'll go with this folder as an example. Can I call upload? And as you can see, this will upload all files from that folder. Only do this if you trust the site. So click on upload if you want to upload this as an example. And as you can see, the selected file slash folder is not a valid word because my folder was not a valid word. For, but for you, the upload will start automatically. After that, of course, you will have to adjust the server settings such as the word name, the game mode, the difficulty, and any other specific settings you want to for your word. Then once you change all of that, make sure to simply save the changes. Of course, if you don't know like how to do exactly something, if you scroll down at the bottom, you'll find how to do exactly the things. As an example here, you they will show you how to upload, they are how to optimize, and here how to download. For the server as example, you can go there and basically here you'll be able to add the mobs and change or adjust the server settings, like such as the word name and etc. Basically, here you'll be able to do everything that you want. After that, of course, you can go back to server and of course, uh, you'll be able now to start your server and it may take a few moments for the server to initialize and load your word. By simply click on, of course, on start, you'll be able to start. And of course, you'll be able to copy, if you click on connect, you'll be able to copy the IP address provided by Aternos and open your game client, paste the IP into the server address field and connect to your newly created server. Of course, you'll be able to explore your uploaded word on the eternal server. You'll be able now to invite friends, build, play and enjoy your customized gaming experience. So that's going to be us for today's video. Of course, congratulations for you for uploading your word and make sure that uploading your word to an eternal server allows you to enjoy gaming and your personalized space. So thank you for joining me today. And here is two many exciting adventures on your Eternus server. And I will catch you, of course, in the next video. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And that's it. Goodbye.